Now, what do you think about that report I just showed a snippet from of the ABC 7.30 report giving a platform to Louise Adler instead of any of the tens of thousands and tens of thousands again of prominent Jewish Australians or any Jews who actually support Israel? Well, I thought it was a very one-sided interview. It didn't present different perspectives on this conflict. I thought the analogy with the Holocaust was incredibly distasteful and entirely wrong factually. I mean, there is one party to this conflict who does want to commit genocide, and that is Hamas. This is in their national charter. They've, uh, after the October 7th terrorist attacks, they announced their intention to conduct more of these attacks until Israel is eradicated from the Middle East and the Jewish people are forced to flee. That is the party that has a genocidal intent here, not Israel, which is exercising its right to self-defence, not Israel, mm. which is taking all the precautions we could expect of any state operating in a theatre of war like this one to protect civilian lives. Uh, and I think, look, unfortunately, this is this is feeding into the levels of anti-Semitism we're exactly. seeing in Australia. And we, we exactly. have our political... We have our political leaders now who have licence and there's some prominent Labor front benches who are continually dog-whistling about Israel and war crimes, Israel and genocide. And that is telling the protesters, go for your lives, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's giving them a green light to engage in this sort of behaviour. And this is why we're failing. And, you know, this is why absolutely Anthony Albanese should be treating this issue as a matter of national priority. Absolutely, he should be raising it with the National Cabinet. Absolutely, he should be getting state premiers and their law enforcement officers on board to send a strong signal to the entire Australian community that this sort of behaviour that we're seeing, whether it's at Westfield Bondi Junction, whether it's yeah. in that hotel in Melbourne, whether it's at synagogues in Caulfield, is just not acceptable in Australia.